We're not building many cars. Huh? People thought it was nuts. This car is such a unique car and uh, it's got a lot of history and it's been an honour to restore this car back to its former glory. 60 horsepower in that car. Today is a great gathering of lots of mini fans and it's great just to get together and go and see what other people are doing. Just generally be able to chat about minis all day. Driving minis is just its an addiction, absolute addiction. There's one car at this mini convention that's getting a lot more attention than the others for being more mini than the rest. This is the Mini Ha Ha, an infamous mini customisation created over 35 years ago. I did the original build um, with Mini Ha Ha back in 1983. Mini Ha Ha came about when I was at school. Uh, there was a group of four or five of us and we were all into cars. And I just knew that this had to be built. I was 19 when I built this. I built a car to use every day, which was its purpose. I was very new to it. It's had all the bumper brackets removed all the way around. The boot lid was welded into the panel. This section here is the section that holds the rear subframe. So when I cut it in half, um, it was basically, it was cut into three. It was cut there. Um, and then the two foot seven was taken out and then this was the second cut line. It is so strong. Like it's coming up to 40 years old now, it's so strong. After building the Mini Ha Ha back in the 80s, the car was sold on and made its own journey, leaving it in a rather unfortunate state. Andy sold the car to a car museum in Port Ross called Motor World. That closed down and then it changed hands three or four different times before I came across the car. Luckily, it was rescued, bought and repaired by a new owner. This car is such a unique car and uh, it's got a lot of history and it's been an honour to restore this car back to its former glory. With no expenses spared, Andy worked tirelessly to restore the car. Whenever I first bought the car, it was not in good condition. The body shell was okay, but it just was a rolling chassis, two subframes, no glass, no interior, no engine. That was going to be quite a challenge. The shell itself was in really good condition. So, stripped the car down to a bare shell, sprayed the car, Put it all back together again, everything went really well. As far as the restoration goes and how much it cost, I have no idea because it didn't keep the cost. I just wanted to restore the car gradually, so I had no idea what it cost. No idea. And his work has paid off, as the Mini Ha Ha is still as popular as ever. I think it's just, the colour's good, but it's the size of it. It's, it's just an amazing piece to look at. Nothing compares to this. Anybody that sees Mini Ha Ha always brings a smile to their face and really that makes me so proud and happy. It's a fantastic two-seater. You get smiles every time it's out on the road, which is what it's all about. It's an absolute pleasure for us to have it here uh, on, on display. Seeing it like this now it's restored is, is it cheers me, cheers me up no end. Um, to think, like I say, someone values my work and my design enough to actually restore it. My long-term plans for Mini Ha Ha is to let as many people see it as possible because it's been lost for so many years. This is the ultimate small car because it's the first, the original and the best. 